Goodbye. Goodbye. I'll be back. Okay, guys, what's up? Good morning. <laughs> Bless me, my soul. Okay, guys, I'm posting an early, early, early video. It is 6.01 in the morning on November 9th, 2019. Not that you guys really care about the date. But the reason why I'm posting the video early is because I'm leaving with my parents to go to Tampa for my niece's first birthday. And I, I want to record it, but none of those people really want to be on camera. So I'm like, I'm not going to shove a camera in their face. Because it's like, I would love to record it so you guys could like meet my niece, see my niece, and see how adorable she is. But I think I posted some pictures of her on, actually on my Facebook and my Instagram. But, and I'm actually using my tripod so it's a lot easier to hold. But I did my way in. I'm 502 today. And then tomorrow will probably be 501 or 502 still. I don't know. But Monday I start my liquid diet for three weeks. On November 11th they wanted me to start it. So I do that for three weeks, and then surgery literally is like that following two Wednesday, and I don't know what time. I will find out on the 14th, because I go to Dr. Kim's on the 14th. I will find out what time he wants me there. I thought I saw a little red line going across my eyebrow. But anyways, I'll find out what time he wants me there on the 14th. Is that a bump? Where is it coming from? Anyways, so I'll find out what, he, what time he wants me there on the 14th. And then, um, what time he'll want me there on the, the, the third, that's what I mean, not on the fourth. On the 14th, I gotta be there at 1045, I think. So, but anyways, so I just wanted to shoot a video because I was like, I didn't want it to go up really late tonight and people be like, oh my God, Reese Boy didn't post today. So I was like, let me just post this video and get this out there and then upload it in the hour before we leave. So I was like, let me do that before we leave and actually at the same time I'm going to be charging my phone mm -mm. so okay so here's some here is a little bit of a little bit of tea that I want to spill it's not really tea but um okay so what did I want to talk about Oh, okay, so now that I'm, like, this new person and I'm losing weight and I'm, like, excited for the future and stuff, I'm, like, ready to share it with somebody. And I know I talk about that a lot in a lot of my videos and I talk about, like, different things and I talk about... And a lot of people are, like, just wait, your time is coming, it's okay, just wait, you know, like, God will get you somebody soon, just wait. And I understand that and I'm totally fine with that, but it's, like, I've been alone for so long and I'm just, like... I'm so ready. Like, I hate watching... Like, there's this movie called Last Christmas that is coming out... I don't know when. But I don't even want to go see it because it's like, I'm so tired of love stories. Like, I'm not even in love with nobody. And I haven't been in love with anybody in a long time. And so I'm like, I want to be in love. And I'm like, it's sad because it's just like, my personality is like, I would be the perfect boyfriend. I'm not trying to be cocky or anything. It's just because I was you know, raised by my mom and my sisters. And my dad was here, but, like, still, like, you know, he was gone a lot on his business trips. But, like, I know how to be the perfect boyfriend. If you ask anybody that I've dated, I'm, like, the perfect boyfriend. Because I have patience, number one. Number two, I will hold your purse outside of the dressing room, tell you if I like that outfit or not. <laughs> number two, I'm such a giving person. Like, I would give you everything that you want. If I could afford it, I would seriously spoil you rotten because that's just who I am I feel like treat people the way you want to be treated you know treat them with kindness and be nice and be kind you guys see my my I don't even know what you would call that the world I guess map I don't know what would you call that my mom bought it for me and put it in my room so I like it so but I have some more pictures that I want to put on that wall and the wall over there but um so yeah, I would be like the perfect boyfriend because one, you have to have patience. Two, you have to be understanding. Three, you have to, um, 
I don't know. It's weird. You have to have, you have to have a lot of patience. I know that you literally have to have a lot of patience because there might be times when she's like really frustrated and really mean and like emotional, but that's like because of the, you know, what girls go through and then guys need to understand that. And so, you know, that's just like, you know, so it's like God raised me to be a good, godly, st structured, well-rounded person who loves people no matter what they do to them. Like, literally, literally, if you ask anybody, well, no, okay, between me and God, between me and God, because you can't really ask anybody this. I forgive so quick. I don't hold grudges. I don't believe in holding grudges. I just always think about, like, what if I mess up? Would I want that person to forgive me? And so that's why I'm always like, let me just follow, apologize or something or see if I can fix it or see if I can better the situation, you know? And that's why I feel like why I want to fix a lot of my friendships that I've destroyed because I feel like that just wasn't me. That was the old, that was the old me. That was when I didn't have a conscience. That's when I didn't care. That's when I was all about myself. That's when I was such a drama queen because I was watching shows that were about drama queens and for some reason it affected me. So I had to be in some type of drama just to feel like a good about myself. And that's so weird. Like I think that had to do with the depression and anxiety and the abandonment issues that I had that I didn't know I had. So, but... I have a lot going on in my life right now, and I'm so. <sighs> Let me see what what how can I how can I word it? I'm tired. I was so happy to get out of that rut. I was in a rut. All of the beginning of this year until May of this year, I was literally in a rut. Like I was stuck. I was depressed. I was sad. I was like, oh my god, like this is not. Hold on, there is a there is something in my. Bed. Sorry. There was like some weird looking, I don't know, it was some type of dust mite or something, I don't know. But, so anyway, so I was like, I was in a rut. I didn't know, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know where I was coming from. I didn't know if I was happy, sad, depressed, anxiety, depression, like, I didn't know what was going on, and just to be in that rut, it was so annoying, and, like, I always said to myself, if something seriously happens, I'm gonna change, and something seriously happened, and I changed for the better, so I feel like it was so much better for me to be a different person, you know, and it's like, I can't wait for his, I can't wait for what's coming next. I can't wait for like the next chapter of my life. I can't wait for when 2020 comes and what I, what can I accomplish in 2020? Oh, and the other thing is guys, I, I don't know yet. I'm actually going to check today. I know I want to just pl plug that in there a little bit, do a plug. Um, I talked to the company that I'm working with, with my clothesline and I think he told me that he could change the prices. So I did all the smalls Smalls to medium, no, smalls are ten dollars, medium, extra large, and and three X because they only go to three X. So large, extra large, and three X are going to be like fifteen dollars. So I don't know if that's cheaper for you guys. I got away from the twenty four, the twenty five dollars, basically almost twenty eight dollars. So if you guys can help me, I'll get a shirt. Our deadline is coming up soon. Um, November nineteenth is the deadline. So if we can get some shirts sold. Then I can do another thing. But if I don't sell any shirts, then I don't know how much longer it's going to take me to, like, be able to get something up again. Probably, like, the wait another six months and then see, like, how far I've grown in another six months. So, but let me see. Let me check the website exactly so I can tell you guys if it did, if he did change the price. Because he said he was going to change the price yesterday. He emailed me that. And I told him that I was having a problem with the prices. They were too high for people. So I was like, can we just change the prices? So 
And this, you guys have to understand, this is my first, like, my first merch. And it's not, you know, it's, to me, it looks really good. But to me, it's like, you know, it's my first merch. So you guys have to understand, I didn't know about the pricing or anything. But, like, I appreciate that you guys wanted some. And I appreciate that you guys, well, I can't, well, yeah, I can say that. People did want some. But, anyways. So... Yeah, 2019 is going to come. That's going to be my year. We're going to have fun. My 31st birthday, guys. We are definitely going to go to L.A. or we're going on a cruise. And I'm definitely going to document it. I probably won't be able to upload until I get back home. Because I don't know if... Well, most boats, I think, have Wi-Fi. So I might try to actually update it. So I can do a blog every single day and show you guys around the ship and what we're doing and all the different stuff. And definitely document it and try to upload it, like, you know, in the mornings or something. And then I think me and my cousin are going to be going to L.A. Because I've never been to L.A. before. So if you any of you all live in L.A., come see me when I'm out there. Um, I'll get you guys exactly the dates. Um, and if any of you guys are going to be in Orlando for Christmas time, let me know. And maybe we could, like, meet up somewhere, like at Disney or something. Because I might be going to the parks. But, um, yeah. Let me know. Because if I'm in anybody's area, then I definitely want to see some of my fans that are, like, in that area, you know? So, and if you're in the D.C. area, because I'm going to try to get to D.C. next year, definitely I'll let you guys know the dates and times. The dates that I'm in D.C. Um, not that I'm that big, but anyways. <laughs> and then, comment below what else videos you guys want to see. I know someone said do the 24-hour challenge. I'm probably going to be able to do it because I probably will not be able to sleep soon. So I definitely will try to do that now. Um, and then somebody said do the, the blender challenge where if you get something wrong, you have to pour the items in the bottle. Wait until I get my apartment because there's probably... No, no, I probably... No, wait until I get my apartment because I don't want any issues. So just wait until I get my apartment. Um, and I told you some good, some good videos will be coming out when I get my apartment. Definitely. Um, and... Let me know what else you want me and Jama to do because next week will be a hard week because I'm doing liquid for three weeks and I just was able to get back on solid foods on Monday and now I'm going back to liquid food so or going back to a liquid diet. So that's fine. I'll lose my weight. I'll get into the 400s because I'm literally so close. I'm like two numbers away. So I'm like so close um, to be in the 400s and actually be out of the fives. Um, but yeah. Shout out to anybody who is, anybody who um, has supported me from day one. That just, to me, means a lot. Like, I love you guys so much for that, for supporting me. But make sure to like and subscribe, turn on my notifications. I will see you guys tomorrow with a video. And I love you guys so much. And I will check on the merch to see if it's dropped the price. And let you guys know on my TikTok or my Instagram. And go follow me on my Instagram or my TikTok or my Twitter. All right. Peace, guys. Love you.